Hello and welcome to LSE Ideas. I'm Nick Kitchen. We all saw the protests in Russia after the presidential elections in 2012, but Vladimir Putin is still in power. So what was the point? Well, there is this kind of assumption that the mobilizations corresponding to the electoral period of December 2011, March 2012, that is the elections to Russian parliament and the presidency, that these mobilizations represent a case of a failed revolutionary episode or fa failed mobilizations. Um, and in that sense, they're different from the mobilizations that occurred elsewhere in the post-communist region, for instance, Ukraine, or Georgia, the color revolutions. And what our research does is tries to puncture this myth of the kind of failed aspect of these mobilizations. And we've done that by gathering data for protests that occurred in all Russian regions around that particular electoral period and also for before, for, uh, for the period 2007 until uh, 2013. And we use that as baseline data. And we also gathered electoral data for uh, precinct level data level data for voting and what we find is that actually protests in the regions of Russia helped reduce the magnitude of electoral fraud even when we control for factors that are conventionally employed as controls in analysis of Russian regional politics. Rodian, can you tell us a little bit more about how you actually went about conducting this research? We collected uh, data Polling, da uh, polling station data uh, for 95,000 uh, polling stations in all, all over Russia. And um, we went out and looked for the evidence of electoral fraud committed by local authorities. When local authorities uh, have incentives to commit fraud, what they might do uh, they might uh, just write made-up numbers in the polling electoral uh, a data. And um, these made-up numbers are not what we would expect these numbers to look like. So in the fair elections, the last-digit numbers in turnout counts are fairly random. So they're uniformly distributed. The, the probability of getting a zero as a last-digit number is the same as probability of getting a nine. When people try to invent these numbers, that's where this uniform distribution breaks down. And because we don't have the mental ability to randomize, we don't have the random number generation in a machine in our, in, in our heads. So that's what we were looking for. And we we, sure enough, we've, we found some uh, strong evidence of um, that kind of blatant fraud um, happening. Um, in regions across Russia, not just one or two, um, in different regions all over the country. You state that the implications of this, the fact that there's less fraud in area where there's, where there's more protest, is that I mean, essentially you're saying Putin should worry, right? But even though he's perhaps one of the strongest authoritarian leaders out there. I mean, really. We think he should worry and, and the Putin regime is worried because even though in that particular electoral period the opposition and the protesters were not able to dislodge the regime and prevent him, uh, prevent uh, the regime from committing fraud because as Rodion was just explaining, yes fraud was committed, albeit, albeit it was reduced in regions where there were protests. So, Although the regime is still in power, they are nervous because they know that in future electoral contests that are accompanied by mass protests, the local clients of the regime, you know, the people who sit in local precinct boards, they, they are scared and, that the, and, and the regime knows that it cannot rely on these local clients to commit fraud when protests are occurring because protests do have a fear effect on these lowly, bureaucrats and civil servants who are sitting on these boards because they are much more vulnerable than the national regime. If it were just up to Putin to write in those fake made up numbers, um, he wouldn't have the same fear effect as do these local officials who are a lot more vulnerable. So the regime now knows that it, can, it, it cannot rely to the same extent on mm. these 
uh, officials to commit fraud. So yes, they, 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 they're, they're, they should take note and they are taking note. And we did find um, very strong evidence that the vote, uh, the, the, the amount of fraud uh, was sensitive to the quantity and, 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 and um, the number of, of, of protesters on, on the streets in, in that particular region. Rodi and Skavaroda, Tamir Lankina, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.